and Selko. Jack, the big day finally arrives, huh? Yes, sir. That news traveled fast. Kirken might have led on that she thought you were ready for selection after this campaign was over. Her intuition is rarely wrong. It seems that Kirken lets you in on her plans all the time, Captain. More than she does the generals. We do have our history. Yeah, I only trained under her for five years. <clears throat> the crippling uncertainty made you fight harder. <laughs> Maybe. So how's the road, sir? Too dangerous for my liking. This close to the Palathon. You should visit the forge and get your gear sorted before setting out. Good idea. I'll be back.
Open the gate. You'll need to be cautious, Jack. We've got incursions large and small around the clock here in Lord's Fell. The wound drifts have collapsed near the Oroman border, giving Rashan's airships a beachhead they've never had before. It feels like it's growing faster, huh? When I was a kid, the wound was just this abstract void my friends and I lived over. I never really knew how much of the world it had swallowed up. Ask me. It's the true enemy of the Everwall. In their endless fight for magic, the Magni ignore the Great Wound's relentless advance. Don't tell Kirkin I said that. When you're right, you're right. See you later, Captain.
Rashanians really want to cut off passage to the power phone. How are you braving the roads? I'm not gonna say it's great out here, sir. Any word from the Palathon on my uh, appointment? Is that nerves I hear? Nervous about what, sir? Trying to join the most elite Magni order in the world? Even failure is a chance to learn, you know? Not helpful. to the Palathon. Should look for an entrance to a skiff bay along that wall. the seer. Kirkens told me about you. And your Kirkens foundling, the candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rashan. I'm say what now? Forgive us. We lost our train of time. You will be answering our question shortly, and then you arrive at the Palathon. Your train of time? Got it. Weird. We're still waiting. What? Oh, uh, the three atrocities of Rasharn are the burning of the House Calaman Magni, the poisoning of the Wraithwind, and the enslavement of the Kalalish Guildmasters. Acceptable. And your Kirkens foundling, the Candle of Shaled, answering our question about the atrocities of Rasharn. Okay, I think the train left. Of course. Good luck. It's a list of the dead. 
There are so many, no one can remember all their names. I never knew there were that many immortals. Oh no, it's everyone across Avium that fell in the Everwall. The Palathon tracks it somehow, all the way back. You know, we're still not really sure who built this place. A bit morbid, really. Having a massive death list right when you walk in, now that I think about it. Oh, hello. I'm Devin, by the way. Just got back from the front. Jack, stationed at Yilthium Fields the last few weeks. I'm from Serum, originally. Is that right? I've never met anyone from East Lucium. And you still haven't. Said I was from Seren. Ah, oh, nice. A little provincial machismo. Let me show you around, Jack. Promise it's not all a big down. I, uh, really need to get to selection. Absolutely no idea where to go. Come this way. I'll show you. I remember Kirken talking about a Jack from Seren a few times. Said you'd make a great immortal one day. Huh. She said that? No. I'm just trying to calm your nerves, man. If you don't mind me asking, how long have you been an immortal? Oh, ages. Well, a few years. But immortal years are like dog years. They stretch on and on. So you're the best of the best? You sound doubtful. It's a cheery disposition. But the Rashanians have sent writs of assassination to every quarter asking for my head. They hate me over there. I'll get some of those writs myself just as soon as I look up what writs are. I'm sure you will, especially as a triarch. We don't get many of those. Well, any of them, actually. So what's the secret? How do you do it? Don't know. I just do. I see. You just do. No need for hard work and discipline when you can just do. Good lesson for the kids. Is this part of selection? You busting my balls? <laughs> no. Selection is much worse. We're almost there. Got another one for group five. No. Oh, stop. He'll be your star pupil. Jack here's the soldier that was crucial to the rout at Yilthium Fields. Kirkin's pet initiate? I'm literally standing right here. The path is ready for this group, and I'm not asking her to reconfigure for one more. She'll complain and give everyone in the Palathon nightmares for a week. Get ready. Those doors open, you go in, one at a time. Come on, Zendara. You know the path already senses he's here. Okay, why are you talking about it like it's alive? It's not happening, Devon. On the one hand, nightmares brought about by a cranky magical gestalt conscious scape. That's okay, ignore me. It's cool. On the other, a stern lecture from Kirken for playing needlessly hardball. I know which one I'd pick. You weren't here for my speech to the selection candidates, initiate. So I'll give you the short version. So it is happening? Shut up. Welcome to the path. Stepping through that door means you think your magic is strong enough to issue a challenge to the Pentasan. That you fear no judgment or censure for doing so, and that your life word to the ley lines is forfeit if you're found wanting. The really short version? Don't fuck up in there or you're... Like, for real? More like absorbed into the path and removed from existence. But don't sweat it. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face looks like that. But don't let it shake you. And anyways, optimism is a moral imperative. I'm Zandara of House Cadus, Warden of the Path and oath sworn to the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. It was nice knowing you, Jack. Hero of Yilthium Fields. A smarter man than you would have ended this day on a high note. Isn't she great?
see how it is. Spectrals.
Caleb, he gave this to Luna on her birthday. Right before everything. Saren. Bits of it, anyway. I called dibs on the shoes. Caleb? First time fumbling about in Saren. What? I grew up here. Shitbird. Best crab in the Harrows. Kilmos. But we both know that's not really crab. How far from here to Trotter's place? <laughs> By a rooftop? He's Saren born and bred, guys. Settle down. Where's your people? I don't know. You need any more? That was the day I met Luna and the others. I guess we're not playing fair anymore. How many rooms? I got no idea, but it's fuck huge, so probably a lot. There's just the five of us. Then eventually we might all get really lonely. Who cares? Come on! Check it out. That whole thing? Whole thing. How are we gonna defend that whole thing? What? What? We squat a place like that, we need to figure out how to keep it. Nah, it's ours. I bought it. How did you... Wh where did... It's not a mystery, Jack. I saved up. I wanted a house and now I have one. All of us do. She was so proud that she found us a home. And that... That was the last time I actually had one. Thanks for the reminder.
Dante's giant. Dad's not so at all. everyone I sent them all home you're the only one to pass R really follow me initiate let's head back up right about you. That you'd surprise me. Seems like Kirkin really talked me up to everyone. I don't mean Kirkin. I mean the path. She knows I don't expect much from the unforeseen. Are we heading towards a backhanded compliment, or... We zoomed right past. Okay. Magni of the Great Houses don't exactly hide their prejudices, do they? Against your kind. We have good reasons. My kind? Wow. You know, just because I, uh, spontaneously exploded with Magnus-level magic or whatever, doesn't mean that Don't I- Don't worry, Initiate. I won't let it cloud my judgment of you. You're different. How so? You're one of us now. Sandrak's western incursion has been pushed back to the Sky Islands. Only his harriers remain. Hey, congratulations. And so what now, I hear you ask? Surrounded, but for now unpressed, do we send our forces north to lift the siege at Lavenry? Or fortify the southern front? Marshal our strength, or test its limits? I'll be honest, I don't know which move is best. But I do know, we have reinforcements. We do? She means you, dummy. Welcome, Jack of the House Unforeseen. Newly mantled immortal, champion protector of Lucium, master Magnus of the Order Elite. What words do you have for those under our command? Are you serious? They're waiting for your answer. Don't take five years. <clears throat> Hey, so, so when I was a kid, I had this friend that wanted to fight in the Ever War. I can't believe I, that I used to give her a hard time about it. She never got a chance to, um, well, Rasharn attacked and, uh, well, I don't even have to finish that sentence. Everyone here has a story that starts or ends with Rasharn attacked. And everyone here has survived those stories. But there are so many that didn't. Too many. 
Their names fill the walls of this place. No more names. No more names. May all of Lucium honor yours until the end of days. What? Bottoms up? So, what now? This is your party, Jack. Mingle. All eyes are on you. Mingle. Bask, even. What about the stolen artifact? It was like a big, glowy crystal with etchings all over it. We're scouring the archives. Nothing yet. Go enjoy yourself. Get to know some of the people you'll be working with. Or if the pressure to socialize is too much to bear, head to your new quarters and turn in for the night. So, Zendara. I know. Just saying. Kind of rained on my parade to get through selection, and then she says, my kind are trash. Dangerous. Anomalies, mistakes, insults to the Pentasad. These last five years, I'm sure you've heard it all. I just figured, I don't know, that there might be more enlightened views among the immortals. I won't make excuses, because there are none. It's an ugly aspect of the Magni dynasties and their rulership across Avia. You already know, the Lightless have it worse. Devin seems nice. For an elite Magnus. And he's taken a shine to you. That's good. Devin's never really been comfortable at the Palathon. Really? I can tell he misses the front. He prefers field work. Soldiering. Huh. Wouldn't have pegged him for that. Devin's our best fighter. That's why we need him back here. So, do we get secret handshakes? Several. Seriously, though, is there a new manual or something that tells me what my duties are now that, you know... Those come later. Honestly, the Order's traditional training and initiations are more informal, more agile than they have ever been in the past. It's not ideal, but the current state of the Everwar means most of your education will be in the field. Do I get to finally know what the name is all about? The Immortals? We borrow our name from a more ancient Pentadi order that once practiced here. The Un Avlashud, the Enduring. They had learned to stretch time and live inside it in a way that mortality meant nothing to them. That sounds fake. It probably is. In any case, the Pentadi eventually vanished, but the legends that they had conquered death didn't. Those that founded our order saw no downside in being associated with such power and prestige. So it's branding. Pretty much. Good night, sir. Good night, Jack. Mingle. You were at Yothium, weren't you? I was, sir, yes. Hallen means oldest. <laughs> Named Silas. Right, right. Good to see you made it, Silas. Well, I certainly wouldn't have if the Grand Magnus hadn't blessed me with her spell of protection. What do you mean? You don't remember, sir? She touched my armor and warded it against the Rasharnians. We Lightless would be lost without your magic and guidance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the Grand Magnus really can cast some doozies, can't she? Yeah, I'm glad she was able to, you know, keep you safe out there. I still can't believe it, sir. I was in the West Trenches when the Rasharnians hit. It was a massacre. My whole platoon was cut down. I only barely got away. I just want you to know that the Immortals have my family's eternal gratitude. You, you bet. I'd better go. Captain Soko. He sends Sandrak's vanguard packing and promptly aces selection. You make it seem easy, sir. Please, don't start calling me that. You're an immortal now, sir. There are protocols to follow. Nope. See? Every time you say it, it's just weird. 
We'll both learn to survive it. I should be going. I just wanted to make sure to congratulate you before I left. Don't leave yet. You're one of the only people I know here. Lightless and Magni don't exactly mix at functions like this, sir. Also protocol. What? No. You're a captain. Just because you can't use magic doesn't mean you can't be here. You should be able to go anywhere you want. Only on the battlefield. This event strays a little too far into your end of society, if you take my meaning. I'm not. <laughs> I I've never been like that. And I've always appreciated that about you. Truly. But neither of us have the time to bend history when there's a war to win. Have a good night, sir. You certainly deserve it. Ambassador Damily, it's been a while. Indeed. The immortal glyph looks good on you, Jack. Kinda does, huh? What brings you so far from the Northern Court? Hmm. I suppose that you're an Order Magnus now, so I can't keep secrets from you any longer. The King has appointed me as Royal Advisor to the Palathon in his time of... absence. You're here because of the King's absence. I don't understand. Sandrak's siege of the capital. It's worsened. The Lightless don't know how bad it is. Kirkin's even been given emergency powers by the Crown. The Palathon's the acting capital of Lucium? That means Lavenry's nearly fallen. She never bothered to tell me. The North will soon be lost to us, Jack. The King's in hiding. I'm surprised you weren't informed, with you being one of Kirkin's closest confidants. Curious. I have to go, Ambassador. So, what she make you see? What? The path? Yep. She's long on visions, that one. I spent as much time reliving my father's disappointment in me as I did fighting phantoms of the enemy. Well, I... One yeah. more right cock up like that and you'll never get accepted into the academy. Then what, Devin? Spending the rest of your days conjuring up fertility spells for the county dirt farmers? I gave him the accent like that for effect, by the way. And the volume. In reality, he was quite cultured and hardly ever spoke above a whisper. Wow, that's... A disturbingly low whisper, too. Like this. He can make a room cold in the summer with it. <sighs> Horrible. But he's dead now, dear Pop. My older brother took over from the family business. Rugs. And I'm an awful merchant, so that meant off to the war for me. Were you? The path made sure I knew my true calling is what I'm trying to say. I'm good at war, Jack. Great at it. And I hate that. Now, where were we? You're just going to talk over me, aren't you? I don't think so. So what don't I know about Kirkin that I probably should? She ever tell you the story about the arm? It's never come up. Five years and it's never come up. Uh-huh. You and everyone else are just too scared to ask. Fine. So what's with her arm? I haven't asked. Can you not? I get the distinct impressions and Dara doesn't like me. At all. She's, well, not really a big fan of the Unforeseen. She made that pretty clear. It's not her best look, I know. But she's royalty. They've always been suspicious of Magni born outside of their jurisdiction. Royalty? No lie. She's a Calthusian princess, I was and Dara. Her family still holds the glaive gate despite everything Sandrak's done to that country. Don't worry, Jack. She'll come around. That sounds like a lie. I met Orfe on my way to the Palathon. What's their deal? They're one of our intelligence officers. A seer of considerable power. Orfe's great. Sometimes you have to cut through the static if you know what I mean, but it's worth it. Yeah, I caught some of that. Get to know them more. It's good to have a seer watching out for you. You should also meet Hauser, though it seems like he decided not to show tonight. How typically rude. He's another immortal? Indeed. Bit of a bigwig from the Northern Court who plays at being mysterious, treats the Order more as a hobby than a calling. Don't tell him I said that. I'm sure he'll turn up at some point. All right, I'll see you around, Devin. Hey, 
Sheriff, eh? What's shaking? We're probably at your graduation party, where we're politely refusing to remove our mask. Or we're discussing Aristea again. Are you sure that's where we are? Forgive us if we aren't, Candle. The years get wet in our head. Right. It's the seer part of being a seer, I guess. The kind of time jumpy thing with you. Red, chaos, green, transition. They mixed when we were given our magic by the Pentasad. One lives in our right eye, the other in our left. Causing a temporal thingamajig. Got it. And probably at this point I asked to see your eyes. You'll forgive us if we say no. We hope. So as a seer, you're what? Like maybe our reconnaissance officer or something? You look for what's coming our way? We work as an intelligence specialist, yes. Remote recon is part of our duties. You're convincing Zandara to let you walk the path, for example. That's back a ways, actually. But Kirkin said you can see the future, too. In theory. Half the time. What? We know, for example, that you must eventually refrain from making covenant with the low beasts of the field. Um, is that code? It sounds like code. Maybe, but Devon's our code breaker, so it's best to ask him. Wait. No, you never do. Sounds like it's settled then. Good chat, Orfe. Sir? Hello again, Jack. Good night, sir. Good night, Jack. Not now, Initiate. Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. But Kirkin just thought I should break the ice with everyone. Get to know you all, you know. You don't think we've done that already? Sure, but that time... sucked. It's not gonna get any different. Now go and enjoy your party. It's the last one you'll see for a long while. Hold up. These are my quarters?
was a day. Good morning, Jack. Morning, sir. I think I might have, well, accidentally slept in the wrong room. It's kind of, uh, extravagant and really big. You'll get used to it. Come down to the vault. We need to talk about your next steps as an immortal. Will do. Now that you're an immortal, Jack, do you want to know a secret? <laughs> that you actually have hobbies? These all yours? What do you think of them? I think I haven't seen enough of the world. I don't recognize any of these. That's because they all were driven to extinction by the Everwar. How? Since we first learned to use magic, We've waged war over who would control it. It isn't meant to be used so violently, and so unchecked, and for so long. The natural world suffers for it. Their habitats die. Their waters are ruined, their skies are choked, their lands are crystallized or filled with hungry spirits they can't compete with. Our magic causes ruin for every living thing, Jack. It causes the wound. We caused the wound? I told you that we draw magic from the ley lines, from the shrouded realm. To be more precise, we siphon it to use as we will. And it stays here. But it's not meant to. And no one's ever discovered how to actually put it back. It punches its way back down. All that magic over all that time. And so the wound grows. But without magic... We can't win the war to control magic. Correct. So we're destroying Avium while we're trying to save Avium? That's the secret. This secret sucks. It's insane. Does Sandrak know this? Of course he does. All the Orders do. Then why the hell are we fighting? Everyone needs to just stop. You want to be the first side to quit? 
Because you trust Sandrak that much. Because mankind can always be counted on to do the reasonable thing. I've wanted to wield magic my whole life. And now you're telling me I... <laughs> You've already figured out the solution, Jack. We win. Then we start thinking about how to fix the wound. You don't win in ever war. It's brick walls like that make you take up painting in your spare time. Isn't there something else th that we can do about it, I mean? Yes. Go to that spell altar. What spell will it grant me? One that hopefully eases your conscience. Reckless, overtaxed, and broken magic often leaves corruption behind. You grew up with it in Saren, the deposits that would accumulate in the Underbridge. There, it's a nuisance. But larger, more malignant versions exist. Part of the Immortals' mandate is to restore those areas of the world overrun with this corruption. That spell is the key. Restore them with magic. The same magic that causes it, and oh, yeah, also the wound. The irony isn't lost on anyone. In the meantime, you have more pressing concerns. Zendara's waiting for you in the war chamber to brief you on a mission. Really? Please don't say she's my field commander. Run along. Your field commander's waiting. You should meet with Commander Zendara in the War Chamber. Clock's ticking. Yes, sir. Uh, you do outrank me, right? I... <laughs> wow, this place is kind of big. I uh, must have gotten lost. <laughs> Intel indicates that the Hand is operating near the Pale Forest. And we've just lost contact with our outpost there. What's so important about the forest? Strategically, nothing. The Leyline Tower there has been dead for a hundred years. And yet she's taking a big risk attacking so close to the Palathon. You still with me, Initiate? Not an Initiate. That's not even a rank. Y you know, I checked. Nightblades have established a stronghold at the southern edge of the forest. We'll attack on both sides. We? Oui. And you're coming? I mean, what about Devin? Devin is needed elsewhere. And Kirkin seems to think you might not get me killed. Jury's still out on that one. Sure, thanks. Don't leave the portal open for me or anything. Guess I'm walking.
immortal. Kirkan told me you know our, um, secret. About magic causing the wound? That we're all destroying Avium? She sure did. Yeah, bit of a gut punch, that one. This restoring spell, it really cleanses the lurge. That, that's what we used to call it in Saren. Lurge? What an absolutely perfect name. Lurge. Yes, it works. And you'll feel better about the whole thing when you use it. Trust me.
have reached the forest entrance, sir. Good. I'm approaching from the east. Our target is the Leyline Tower. Scouts have spotted activity in that area. I thought you said it was dead. What does the hand want with it? That's the question. And it's just us? No backup or anything? We're immortals, Initiate. We don't need backup. Bell Walter.
The outpost. Wiped out. None of our people made it, sir. The Nightblades have set up wards throughout the forest to slow our advance. We'll need a construct to get past those. And I forgot to pack one. Great. I spotted one of their lieutenants in the road near my position. Tracking him now. Do what you can to push forward, Initiate. Yes, sir.
fine. <coughs> okay. This one controls the construct. We needed to break the wards and reach the tower. <laughs> Something funny. You walk towards your doom. Doom and I are old friends. The construct. Bind it to us, and I may let you live. You already know my answer. Short conversation, then. Wait, what? The control crystal uses green magic. I think I can bind it to myself. You're wasting your time, little magician. Quiet! If you think you can do it, do it. Easy. Some Triarch shit right there. Well done. He was a prisoner. Not anymore. He was helpless. Rasharnians are never helpless. I just saved him the trouble of trying to kill us later. The Hand of Sandrak. That's her ship. It's moving away from the Leyline Tower. Back on mission, Initiate. Take the Construct. I'll try to intercept her. Okay, I guess I'm following you. Cool. So I'm Jack. Do, uh, you have a name? Nothing, huh? Okay. I'll just call you Construct, then. Zendara said the Construct could open the ward. Good job, buddy. If you see any of your old pals, attack on sight, okay? Like these guys.
Salvation!
Okay, where to now? Walter. Construct! Kill!
Get to the other side somehow. Go, buddy. Construct, sick him. Give 
starting to worry about you, sir. The airship won't be bothering us again. But the hand wasn't aboard, so keep your eyes open. What's your position? Cleared out the tower courtyard. Heading up to the top. Stay put. I'm almost there. Yeah, well, I, I don't see an off switch on this lift, so... Stay put. Going in. Show yourself, font of Yonkau. I draw you forth through the power of Thrada Kull, the binding stone. I've got a problem. What is it? More like who? Sandrax here. What? Hold your position. I'm on my way. He'll be gone by then. That was an order, Initiate. Say again? I'm losing you. You do know I can just see you waving your hand around, right? An immortal? Welcome, brother. Do you know who I am? Sandrak. I suppose Kirkin has poisoned you against me by now. She didn't have to. Your men killed my family. Did they? I have no memory of that. A great many people have died in this war. Would it comfort you to know that I'm close to ending it? Don't turn your back on me! Send him to his family. I need more time to finish this. Let me give you a hand. Hey, stop!
broken and you are bound. Place. Wait, this is the Shrouded Realm. Uh-oh, is that the Pentasod? Dragon the Hand vanished when I arrived. He cast some kind of spell. I, I tried to stop him. You were supposed to wait for me, Initiate. The Ley Line, he... He absorbed it. I don't understand. I saw something. Saw what? When his spell was cast, I... I left m my body. I, I went somewhere else. Out with it. I saw the Pentasod. It's... alive. I don't Sir, think I have a spell for that. Up there, Sandrak referred to me as... a brother. And not like, oh, hey, look, it's another Magnus, but more like... Like someone from his order. Exactly complicated subject. One I'm not going to get into here. You're not going to explain how Sandrak is an immortal. Was. You're not going to explain how Sandrak was an immortal. Thought I made that clear, Initiate. That's something Kirkin will talk to you about when she thinks it's right. Some of us don't like being- I fought long and hard to become an immortal. Getting blindsided that Sandrak's one of the alumni, the guy who bombed my home, I might add, is more than a little uncool. That's true. Wait, what? Really? Yes. You should have been told. I know what he did to Saren. Everyone does. But it wasn't my call. I should just go. Wait a minute. Listen. About your vision. Of the Shrouded Realm. I wanted you to know something. Yeah. The Pentasod. It is alive. All we ever see here, in this world, in our world, is only the physical manifestation of its true form in the Shrouded Realm. In Kalthus, our mystics say this form visits them in dreams in the winter. In other parts of Avium, prophets, saints, madmen, have all claimed to have seen it at one time or another. So I'm a saint, is what you're saying? I just wanted you to know that you're not- That I'm not special? No worries, sir. Kirkin lets me know that all the time. Can you ever shut up? I'm saying you don't have to feel alone, Jack. I don't want you to feel like you might become a pariah. People- Back up. Did I just hear you be nice? You're impossible. Well, historically, you've gone out of your way to be an asshat to me, so you can understand my confusion. Sir. That's because I don't like you. This is different. All right. I'll meet you back at the Palathon. Sandrak absorbing a ley line isn't something we're even remotely prepared for. Kirkin will be eager to talk.
I heard you fought the hand alone, Jack. It's good to see you in one piece. The others are waiting for you in the war chamber. Jack, heard you walked right up into a whole thing. Take up a position at the table, Initiate. There's a lot to talk about. Any of these pop Sounds like Zendara filled you in, sir, but I've got about a million questions. Story time, Jack. And I used to really love story time. The Shrouded Realm is a world of raw, untempered magic. A magic so formless and wild, it's impossible to master. Yeah, I think I've been there. Then the Pentasad came to that world and created the fonts. Five great anchors that connected the Shrouded Realm to Avium. The ley lines spread out from these fonts, traveling through both worlds, turning the Shrouded Realm's magic into a resource we could use. If someone could capture the power of a font, they'd control magic in a way that no Magnus has before. Like a living ley line tower, capable of drawing magic from the very source, capable of even redirecting it away from other Magni. Sandrak has done exactly that. We believe he's in possession of a Thrata Cull, a binding stone, an artifact that can control the fonts. So that's what I saw the hand pull out of the ruins. That's right. With it, Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic completely. Then the Everwar is over. Over? As in he takes over Lucium? As in he takes over everything. Sir, respectfully and whatever, you're wrong. Excuse me? Oh boy. You said it yourself. Magic is a resource. Just because Sandrak absorbed a font or whatever doesn't mean his power is endless. It's just that it's probably ginormous. If he found a way to use the Binding Stone, so can we. We can take it back and then... yourself at home. I bring you good news, sister. Peace is near. Allow me to let you witness it. A small kindness between friends. If you would have it. We were just discussing what the best response would be to your desecration of the fonts. Had you yet concluded you have none? Let us meet at Nosea to discuss the terms of your surrender. I hear now you speak for your king. So there should- <coughs> Chat! <clears throat> the boy does not know me. You have my word. The traditions of Aristea will be upheld. Without violence. I see a Lucium that genuinely survives this part of history. Well, that was horrible. Course of action? Devin, make sure every last trace of them is really gone. Zendara, I need you to speak to the Watch Commanders. We're meeting Sandrak at Nosea. We're outgunned. Not outfought. Not yet. Jack, let's talk. Is Zendara right? We're going to actually walk into Sandrak's trap. It's not a trap. Sandrak fashions himself after the nobility of Aristea. He'll honor the tradition of Nosea as neutral ground. Sir, I know you don't plan to surrender. Not even a little bit. We'll take him by surprise, hit him with everything we got, and hope the power of that binding stone of his is found wanting. Okay, so it's our trap, then. The Immortals can't let Sandrak take control of magic, Jack. We have to take our chances. Speaking of the Immortals and Sandrak, and Sandrak having been an Immortal and you never telling me, your fellow Immortal... I figured this was coming. There's not a lot of time here. I had a right to know. 
You recruited me the day Sandrak destroyed my home. I've been fighting against Rasharn ever since you told me. What difference would it have made? I don't know. But how do you benefit by constantly keeping secrets from me? You could have told me about the Fawns long before any of this. You could have told me how using magic destroys the world before training me. I... You joined the army, Jack. Not the academy. You only needed to know what helped you in the field. I don't feel that's a good enough answer, sir. I'm sure you can live with it for the time being. If we survive Nosia, we can talk about it again. Now, a few pieces need to fall into place for this ambush to work. I need you to take this to Captain Selko. A portal stone? Any message to go along with it? Selko will know what to do. You'll find him in Lordsfell along with a battalion of our soldiers. Understood. I'll head out now. <laughs>